Good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm glad you're with me today. I have a few things I wanted to talk to you about. I went to a party this week. If it was for somebody's birthday, and they just had so many great presents and gifts. And all of those gifts were given to them with love, and, and they just wanted to, to enjoy them and to have those gifts. I know you love to get presents and gifts. I do too. I brought a little gift with me here. I love to get a good gift. It's just so fun, and it makes you feel so special. I know that you love to get presents too. I bet you get presents for your birthday. We always get presents on Christmas. And sometimes you just get a gift because you are special and you are loved. And those are just the best kind of gifts. Well, I brought some gifts with me today. I thought that I would give Emma a gift today. Now, Emma, this gift is going to be for you, and I want you to have it. But there's one thing, you'll need to give me $5 for that gift, okay? What? Oh, you say it's not much of a gift if you have to pay for it? Well, why wouldn't it be a good gift? If you have to pay for it, it's not much of a gift? Well, why? Well, because we don't pay back for gifts. Gifts is something that somebody gives you because they love you and they like you and they want you to have it. I have another gift here. This gift is for Seth. I thought I'd give Seth this gift and I'd let him enjoy that gift. Oh, I don't know, for a day or so. And then Seth, you have to give it back to me, okay? After you have it for a little bit, you just give it back. Is that a good gift? You don't think so? Well, why is that not a good gift? You have it. It's not a good gift if you can't keep it. If you can't have it for all time, it's given to you to have, to keep. It's not really a gift if you have to give it back, is it? Well, I have one more gift here. I thought I'd give this one to Mickey Jane as a gift. Mickey Jane, here's your gift. Well, what? You know what? She said she didn't even want it. She just didn't want that gift, and she wasn't even going to open it, wasn't going to look at it, wasn't going to accept it. Can we give a gift if somebody doesn't want it, or won't take it, or won't accept it? No, I suppose not. But you know what? I was thinking the only way for someone to truly, really receive a gift is be happy with the gift, accept it, be thankful to the person that gave it to them and to use it and keep it and show everybody else the great gift that you've got. Well, it reminds me that God gave us a wonderful gift, a great gift. It wasn't necessarily wrapped up in a package like this, but it was a great gift. He gave us his son, Jesus Christ, as a gift to the whole world. In Romans 6, 23, it says, The gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. What better gift that we could have than eternal life? What is the best gift you could have is Jesus and we believe in him and we have him for eternal life. Maybe you can think of the best gift you ever got. Can you think of the best gift ever that you had? Boy, I bet you loved it. You kept it forever. You wanted to show everybody what a great gift you had. Well, one of the best gifts we can receive in our life could be Jesus Christ. Even like one of those gifts you got on Christmas or your birthday or whatever. You loved it. You used it. You kept it forever. That's what God wants us to do with his gift of Jesus. It's fun and it's great to receive gifts. All of us has, have gotten different gifts. 
the best one, like I said, is Jesus. And we can accept him and receive him. And then thank God for sending Jesus as a gift. I want us to look at a scripture today. It's in Matthew. Now, sometimes I will say we hear this particular scripture around Christmas time. But it actually applies to every day, all the time, even right here in September. It teaches us about God's gift to us. Matthew 1, 18 through 22. This is how the birth of Jesus took place. When Mary, his mother, was engaged to Joseph, before they were married, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man. Because he didn't want to humiliate her, he decided to call off their engagement quietly. As he was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because the child she carries is conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you will call him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place so that what the Lord had spoken through the prophet would be fulfilled. Now, what do we learn from that scripture? I know, like I say, we read it a lot at Christmas time, but I think one of the things that this scripture tells us and reminds us of is what Jesus was born to do. Jesus was a gift from God, and he was born, if you will remember in our scripture, to save all of his people from their sins and give them eternal life. So, what did Jesus do to show that he was God's son? Well, first of all, he was perfect. He never sinned. He was walking on earth just as we do, but he was teaching us and setting an example for us. And he was willing and did die on the cross for us. Man, that's the best gift we could ever, ever get. What words would you describe if you were thinking that you needed to describe Jesus or you needed to think about who Jesus is and what he did for you? You know, I bet I think of things like, oh, teacher, he was our savior, meaning he saved us. He was the son of God. He was perfect. But one of the best things I think of is he loved me, loves me every day loves me and continues to give me his gift of love. He was God in human form here on earth with us. So let's think about the greatest gift we've ever been given. You know, Jesus was sent from God to save people from their sins. And because he never sinned, he was the only one that could actually do this, this great important task. So, when we think about accepting Jesus' love and his grace, that grace just means his forgiveness for us for all time. We accept God's gift to us, and God wanted us to accept his gift. He'll never want it back. He'll never force us to take it. We'll never have to pay anything for it. It's a great gift. See, you can have that gift today. That gift is just for you. And all you have to do is accept it and thank him by loving him, doing what's right, and showing and telling everybody else the great gift that you have from God in Jesus. Next time you get a gift, or even this week, next time you give a gift, remember the great gift that God gave you in Jesus Christ. Let's bow our heads and say a prayer. God, thank you for your gift to the world in Jesus. Help us to share the good news of your gift with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope to see you next week.